Hi, Sagittarius. Guess what? Yeah, we did Cappy first last time, and we did Sagittarius first this time. We did choose it because there are some long-time people that have been with us. For a while. Yeah. Yes. So this time we chose. And, babies, this one's for you. Yes. And our card for today? I mean, not literally, but, you know. It's magic. Yes. And it says... There is magic and miracles all around me. And Where amen. others see coincidence, I see evidence of life's synchronicities. I love filling life with wonder and magic. It's way more fun that way. Um, can I borrow your finger? <laughs> no, you cannot borrow my finger. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> well, I didn't want to get Okay. <laughs> you can get on your cards. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Clean them jujus. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta do that again. Norm. Okay, I just want to say, y'all see what I put up with around here, right? <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it's just terrible. Okay. No, back to work. <laughs> Moonology deck. We have the South Node, okay? Don't let your past hold you back. And the fairies... The fairies today are addressing your inner child. Oh, yes. how did I know? That's what I was feeling that day. Tell yeah. Me. Yeah. So take on that more childlike energy because y'all got some heavy shit going on right now. We got we got this tower right in the middle oh, shit. of the spread. And I looked at that and I was like, oh, holy shit. What's the tower about? Uh, yeah, the tower is about all these choices. Oh, shit. Some of them are choices that are actual choices, and some of them are choices that are just, it's that overthinking thing, and you're playing everything out in your head. You got this blindfold on, and you're just making wild guesses on what actually could happen. You know but what? But the path is lighted. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like it did take, you take the high road, and I'll, I'll take, take the, the low road. road. But somebody's refusing to make a choice. Yes. You know. Yes, yes. Okay, so then, and we got the Five of Pentacles over here. Okay. Mm, that's the low road. Okay. And with that Five of Pentacles, we have the High Priestess upside down. Huh? That's which, weird. <laughs> <laughs> which. <laughs> fairies. We like fairies. fairies. <laughs> I gotta fix this. I'm sorry. Yeah, we want that. <laughs> we do <laughs> want that. We do. We do. Oh. Okay. So the high priestess with this five of pentacles, you got a whole lot going on and you're not using your intuition. You're not, you're not seeing things from the overall picture. Okay. But once you step back and look at things, the path is going to light up. Okay, it's going to light, it's going to shine. And once you do that, things are going to be a lot clearer and a lot more abundant for you. Alice? Are they going to need a flashlight? No, they're not going to need a flashlight. Oh, well, why wouldn't they need a flashlight? Let's look over here and find out. Mm -hmm. What do your cards say? You haven't well, even turned them over yet. No, I haven't, and I'm starting something new, and I like it. Okay, okay. well, one kind of flew out, and it's this, like, Eight of Pentacles from this really wild and freaky deck, and I just love it. But see, in the Eight of Pentacles, the normal, it's like reaping your rewards. But this person, they got a rainbow of freaking beautiful ass pentacles right there. And it looks like that they're like not happy with them because they're trying to build more and they're concentrating on this. And they have them down here because it's not perfect. 
So, the Eight of Pentacles in this card kind of gives me a different idea of, you know, sometimes you have to stop and smell the roses. And you have to see that there's nothing wrong with this pinnacle right here. He did a good job. It may not be perfect, but it's exactly what it's supposed to be. You have no right to discount that for this, even though it's okay to work. This might be the pinnacle that the divine is trying to throw at you. And you're not paying attention to it. So, the edit. Eight of Pentacles just kind of jumped out, so I had to address that first, all right? And that means that somebody's being too hard on their self. They want the idea of perfect, and it's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's what the divine gave you. Freaking give it, okay? Just, just showcase it. Anyway, with the Saggy energy, which I love them. I love Saggy Fire. It's like, they are... Absolutely freaking their passions and they let their freak flag fly. Let me tell you. You mean they, they work on their passions from their inner child? Yeah, but sometimes they're still a little bit misguided and I think that's shifting. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, because that, that fairy energy. Uh huh. Uh huh. What happened when Tinkerbell got jealous? It's a poof. She tried to kill Wendy Darling. Uh huh. She was a bitch. Uh huh. Okay, and that energy will be a bitch. So. We're shifting and we're understanding when we want to be that Peter Pan fairy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or when we're trying to kill Wendy Darling. We don't kill Wendy Darling. We don't kill Wendy's. No. Tink tried to kill Wendy though. Yeah. So we're shifting the perspective so Tink don't kill Wendy. But here's the thing. Uh, there's that Seven of Cups. Mm. Ooh, ooh, something's going on. Something's going on. Something's going on. Going on. Okay, Sagi, I have to say this is the first row, first time during tonight that I've gotten um somebody's defensive over their past and it's kind of like they're trying to embrace an energy that is kind of perfect. Their idea is stability. And they're trying to make the right choices. They are. Confusing. I get it. It's not easy. You hear a lot of things. But see, here's the thing. You also know a lot of things. Because you've been here a lot. You've been here a lot, you know. Many lifetimes. Many, many, many. Being this queen, other queen. It's all inside you. You're getting that message. You're getting that message on how to use all those other cups as a tool instead of seeing them as a bad choice. You are who you are for a reason. It doesn't matter which cup you pick. You're picking it for a reason. But if you don't make a choice, if you don't listen, if you get defensive over the energy, and you say, oh, what if I pick the wrong cup? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, these choices are oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, choices. no. But if you look, oh, the, path, the path's already lit up. Oh. It's already lit up. It's already lit up. All you got to do oh, is go to the it's lighted already path. Lit up. Yeah, see? Yeah, so they just have to pay attention to what's ahead of them. Yes. And, and not... Get Worry about all confused with all these freaking cups all over the place. Don't let the past hold you back. Oh, you mean this one? This one right here? Yes. Oh. See, that could be a good energy, though. Don't let it hold you back. Take the wisdom of childhood and the innocence with you. What's that fairy card? And then, that's the key to unlocking this one right here. Yay. It's healing that inner child. Healing all those timelines, all those pasts. Now, here we go. We got, oh wait, no, nah, I'm going into this one. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> See, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like complete stability. Ooh. Ooh. 
he looks like a happy family Ooh. and stability and and cornerstones oh, yeah. and balance. That's what a true tower is built on. Oh. The kinds that you don't have to fall down and make them go boom and, and, and make people tumble out of and, and bump like, their head. Like this. Yeah, that would see that. This, this is going to create. This, it's going to let you create this. This lets you create that. But not if you are sitting here in the past being afraid to choose. The right freaking cup, because they're all the right freaking cup, okay? Get off your ass. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh that card back. I like it. Mine. <laughs> anyway, so. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, some of y'all are, are feeling defeated. You feel like you're not going to get this. All right, you're robbing yourself. You're robbing yourself. You're looking for perfect. Imperfect is beautiful. As a matter of fact, it's more beautiful than the idea of perfect because perfect doesn't exist. You're holding on to a fucking dream. Get rid of it and be happy. All right? If not, you're just like making your own pain, stealing your own dream. But see, here's the King of Pentacles. Here's a queen pinnacle. Again, the choice is yours. This is what all these readings are about. Now, the good good part of it is, is I am not seeing the Hierophant or the High Priestess yet. So, y'all might be out of the dark because there's a lot of karma moving in some of the signs. And, and every, every one of them, here's the High Priestess over here, but she upside down. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, here's the thing. You got to quit being afraid. You got to shit or get off the pot. You got to make that choice. All right? Mm -hmm. So, here we go. See what we got. No. <laughs> You're afraid. You want it to be perfect. It, like your life's dependent on it because you're trying to get over this codependency. You're trying to get over this need. You're trying to get over what's holding you in chains there to some idea or some person or some freaking whatever. Don't let your past hold you back. That's what this is. Or that little demon on your shoulder telling you, no, that's not the way to go. That's scary. You might get hurt. Well, you might. But that's how you grow. Only because you're stubborn. You can learn from love, but we ain't there yet. We're trying. I'm trying. You trying? I'm trying. Because pain sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Oh, shit. Look. If you can't play anything nice, <laughs> we're going to stop playing with you, Alice. This is the upside down tower. Somebody's really holding on to this devil energy. They kind of like it. They're comfortable with it. They're kind of holding on to it. Because this tower is upside down. You don't really want to do that. Okay? You don't. You don't want to let this tower fall. It doesn't mean that whatever this is, isn't a beautiful truth in your freak flag that you're supposed to own. But maybe you're supposed to be doing something a little different. A little tweak here, a little tweak there. Start creating this. Let that tower fucking fall. Mm -hmm. Alright. You're a unique expression of the divine. You're meant to be that in all your freakiness. And I love it that you embrace it so passionately. You're fucking awesome. I wish everybody had that passion to be unafraid. Absolutely. So, uh, here it comes. You gotta love that Queen of Swords. You're beginning to stand in your own power and you're, trying, you're understanding that truth. Absolutely. See that eyeball up there? Yeah. Come on. Bring me bullshit. Come on. 
I know what truth is inside me. <laughs> and if anybody tries to give me any less than I deserve for <clears throat> standing in my strength, there you go. <clears throat> yeah, just because I love doing this. Because I know you cappies out or you saggies out there are like so fucking awesome in your energy. It's unbelievable. You are fearless. Mm -hmm. You are fearless. But sometimes you gotta like use wisdom on where you're gonna put your energy in that fearlessness. Yes. And that's what I'm getting here. Oh shit. High priestess here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like they're watching everybody right now. Yeah, but but Oh, come here, baby. I will heal you and turn you right side up. We don't want to see that shit. I got what you need. Ooh, baby. Ooh. That's two high priestesses. Well, no, that's that's the a high, high priest. priest. That's oh, her match. Damn. This is her healing power damn. right here. So this is somebody freaking belly. Okay, see, somebody see needs to turn mm. this. Right? Mm. They need to embrace. See, they're they're fucking with the whole the feminine here energy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this guy right here, he see he's healing this over here. He's coming in to give that some love and say, baby, baby, I misunderstood. I misunderstood you. I get it now. I need you. <laughs> That's his choices over here. That's totally. It's okay to be choices. vulnerable. It's okay. It is. It's it your is. duty to love. That's that inner child. Yeah. And don't let your past hold you back. Oh, not a pentacles. Not a pentacles. That goes yeah. right along with the ten of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's bringing. Okay. If you get out of this. It's getting rid of this. All this shit. See, that's not true. That's not true. The knight of pentacles is going slow. Because you got a lot of this shit in your path, okay? That's not true. It's going to take care of that shit. And it's going to bring you new understanding. It's going to give you that divine cup of love that you're supposed to be having. Mm -hmm. And filling your cup with so you can fill other cup with it. And not be just this. Queen of Swords that has to tear some shit up because people being bullshit and it just gets you up. You need to go play with the cup of love, man. Divine get you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Sag. All right, Sagittarius. I love you. Oh my God, you're amazing. <laughs> be blessed. blessed. Be. Namaste. Ha. <laughs> <laughs>